Hey, it's Nathan with Crazy Eye Marketing, and in this video, we're going to go ahead and install Facebook's tracking pixel on our optimized press pages. And we're also going to set up lead tracking so that way, when we launch our advertising campaigns, we can optimize them for leads. So let's get started. First things first, you have to log into your Facebook Ads Manager. Come up to the top here, look for pixels. It's under Assets, Pixels. Go to Actions, View Pixel Code and it's gonna give you this big old code here. We're gonna highlight it, copy it, come back to our WordPress admin panel, and we're going to edit our pages that we have in Optimize Press. So let me load up the live editor here for our three pages. If you don't know what pages I'm talking about here, I'll have links down below to the videos where I built these pages. So we have our pages. Here is page A. We're gonna to go to page settings. And just like the Google Analytics code, we're going to add this code here. So we're going to come down to the bottom, and we're just going to add the code in right, right there at the very bottom. Make sure this box says header. You want to put this code in the header. Hit update. Save and continue. OK. Close. Leave. All right, same thing for variation number one or page B or whatever we decided to call it. Page settings, other scripts. Gonna scroll down, make sure this box is for header, and we're going to paste in our Facebook pixel code beneath the Google Analytics code. Hit update, save, save and continue. Okay, close this page out, leave. All right, so our thank you page. This, again, this is our goal page. In Google Analytics, we set this up as a goal because this represents success. We have to do something similar with regards to our Facebook tracking pixel to let Facebook know that this is a goal. And when somebody lands on this page, they're considered a lead. And then we can do all sorts of fun fancy stuff with Facebook's audiences and all that stuff. But that's beyond the scope of this particular course. Anyway, we come back over here to page settings, other scripts. We look for our header section, make this a little bit bigger. There's our other codes in here. We're going to paste this below at the very bottom. And we have to do something special here. So right here where it says FBQ track page view, and then we see that this closing script tag, we're gonna put a space here and we're going to add in a new piece of code. And the code here we're looking for is lead. So every time somebody lands on this page, Facebook will know that they are a lead. And as you see, there are other website actions that Facebook can help you track. If you're unfamiliar with how Facebook's tracking pixels work. You can read more about them here, but you see Facebook can track a lot of different things and really help you out so you can build and optimize great campaigns. But all we're doing here is we're grabbing this little lead tag because that's all we're trying to do here. We have an opt-in funnel and we're trying to track our leads. So come back over to your pages, wherever I put it, and under underneath this page view tag, it has to be underneath we're gonna paste in the FBQ track lead. Oops. So you make sure that it is underneath. If it's above, it will not work. Trust me, I, I messed that up before. So learn from my mistakes there. So that's how we set it up on our thank you page. Hit update, okay. Save and continue, okay. And we can go ahead and close on out. So now Facebook is set up to track our conversions as well. So we're tracking conversions inside of Google Analytics. We're tracking conversions inside of Facebook. We can really see what is working and what isn't working and optimize our campaigns and our pages based off of the data that we're collecting. So I hope this little mini course was helpful to you in getting started with Optimize Press. I've included a lot of links below these videos if you have any questions ever, you can always find me at crazyoutmarketing.com.